All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So I actually purposely pick these three. There was a viewer request to do some EV videos. Um, I picked and I cherry picked these actually. We're gonna look at Tesla, we're gonna look at Neo, and we're gonna look at Polestar. Uh, yeah, right, PSNY is, is Polestar? Give me a second, no, I think that's Lucid. It is Polestar, sorry, my apologies. So I pick these three because look, yeah, this isn't necessarily an uptrend. It's probably a little more horizontal than I like, but hey, at the bare minimum, this is horizontal with not too bad the last couple days, right? When we look at Neo, you know, it was horizontal. It's starting to make a nicer, hey, not too bad these last couple days, right? When you look at Polestar, this thing broke the cluster, ran to the next moving average, broke the 100 and made its way all the way up to the 200, right? So beautiful uptrend, beautiful technical moves, really good things, really across the one, two, three I'm gonna talk about. I pick these because look at what NASDAQ looks like. That's not good. Now, I talked about the horizontal a little bit on at least two of the three, right? Polestar just kind of kept going with it, right? But NASDAQ's starting to come down. NASDAQ's actually, look, you can argue that we haven't lost this one yet because that's really one bad candle and that doesn't confirm. But hey, we've at least lost a couple moving averages and there's, there's, there's people getting concerned and MACD's almost negative and this and that, right? Green, sorry, red over green on both of these, blah, 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 right? That's not what these three look like. And what a lot of people are saying, and really it makes sense to me, I'm not pretending I thought of this, I'm not that smart, but it looks like the tech hurt is semicon semiconductor specific. Really, more than anything, it's a little bit NVIDIA specific, right? So maybe, maybe this is where EVs take a little bit back from AI, because let's be honest, AI has cast a pretty big shadow here, right? So um, I'm not a fan of the NASDAQ not looking good. These are obviously tech stocks that need the NASDAQ to do well, but maybe, maybe it's the other end of the pool that has a little PP in it and our side still clean. That's probably a little grosser of analogy than I wanted to do. I apologize for the classier people that are watching this, all right? But before we do go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do the same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can, please subscribe to this channel. Share this video online with your friends. Comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms. But for real, just being here, give me your time. Oh, I'm so, so grateful for it, all right? So um, really interesting setup across the three. And I was a little torn to make this a single chapter or, or to talk about each kind of the same. But I'm gonna do a single chapter and, 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 and hopefully it works out. Let me know if this wasn't that good in the comments and I'll, I'll obviously adjust accordingly. But look, I started of the video with it i'm going to say it one more time just in case you fast forward it all right when i look at the nasdaq composite i see horizontal and down all right when we look at qqq which should always look exactly like nasdaq it does right the candles stay pretty much identical all we've done is move into the hundreds same horizontal and down right this looks almost completely inverse of tesla Tesla is kind of at the bottom of the moving averages and then all of a sudden makes its way back to the top. You can see that was the complete opposite where we were at the top and then all of a sudden made our way back down, right? So it is, it is very, very, it's an anomaly. It is an anomaly to see Tesla, which I consider, and I'm not just saying me, like I'm the only one, like a lot of people do, right? Like this is one of the backbone, you know, Mount Rushmore NASDAQ stocks right now, right? And to see this trading relatively inverse from NASDAQ and QQQ, that's a little wild to me, all right? Now, I did not come up with this. Again, I'm not trying to pretend I'm smarter than I am, but a lot of people are making it sound like this is the moment where EV can maybe again become the, the darling of tech, 
all right? It was not that long ago that you can just throw a dart at a, at a dart board, right? Land on any, any EV ticker and bring home like 20, 30% gains, right? So it, it, it really was only a couple of years ago when that was going on. So, hey, maybe this AI semiconductor lull is 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 what's causing Nasdaq to go down, and it could be where where Tesla and the other ones, the other EVs specifically, kind of do well, right? So interesting theory that I do think makes sense. All right, when I look at Tesla specifically, look, it's not the tightest of clusters. Don't get me wrong, but we basically have all five moving averages very very close, right? And I mean, you go from the top to the bottom to the top to the bottom to the top, and you just kind of go in this yo-yo in the tornado until it spits you out either up or down right so we are looking for the 50 moving average to break I like this line let me see if it's worth lowering like I think that's too low yeah it's way too low I like this line I, I still like this 229 I think we need to get into this 229 we need to close around here not just wicket right we need to close around here to make me believe we've broken the 50 to make me believe that we've escaped this cluster from there I mean just look at it green 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 red 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 green 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 red like there should be a very fast move to this 250 and really if 250 breaks Breaks, it could even be a quicker move up right there right but for now I think it's a little a little silly to, to think that 250 will break it's funny I actually I'm gonna pause this because I don't remember if this was in a, in a in a private message or if this was in a um, in a in the discord give me a minute I gotta check and then I'll show you one second I'm so sorry okay i am back it was in a dm so i took a screenshot i covered a couple things so we were talking about tesla looks like yesterday and we were talking about the 222 line all right um i'm a little and 222 you can see where i got that number from right that's basically the 50 moving average right my thought was that it could get to this i obviously called it the money line if it could break it right i'm just not sure it's gonna have enough gas to break it all right so that was my thought as we were sitting here under that 214 obviously has called it pretty well as we got pretty close to it and actually wicked it today right the question is right now is it going to break the 50 moving average again i move my money on something i call the one in the two i have some other indicators i have some that i think can tell me if there's gas in the tank I wasn't seeing enough gas as of yesterday. I did not look today. My wife is not feeling well, so I try to do my best to take care of her today. So um, I'm curious what the what the day did, right? But um, again, the moral of the story is: look, I, there's there's two ways of doing it, right? Now that I'm kind of saying this, let's just talk about it. For some, going from 222 all the way to 230, that's not a bad trade right there. It's not, it's basically a 5% move right there, right? It's about, it's about 10 bucks on that thing, right? That's not a bad trade, it really isn't. For me, I would rather get to and break this number and believe we can get another, what, 20 on top of that, another 10% behind that. But hey, for some, if you're gonna break this, that's already green, 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 red, 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 green, you know what I mean? So. For some, hey, that's actually not that bad a money line. And I'll actually, you know what? No, I don't want to lower that line. Cause that that like I can see this. Let's let me just say this. I can see this wicking 225, right? I'm basically clicking at 224.97. Um I do think though, you gotta break 230 to escape these lines. I think that's the most educated thing I can say, especially showing what I just showed. So let me pause this real quick because I often flash the Discord and I don't wanna show the, the, the DM and then we'll get back into the other ones. I'm probably gonna chapter this one separate from the other ones, give me one sec. Cool, okay, I'll look at the weekly really quickly. I think that's the last thing I haven't done. Oh, look at that, so the, the 200 moving average is just a little bit above my line sitting at that 235 roughly, right? So again, I think seeing this does make me believe 235 is gonna be hard to break, which makes me think that like, yeah, this 230 is gonna be hard to break. Maybe we come up here and kind of, look, you can kind of see it. We tried to break it, couldn't confirm, came back down. We actually haven't even tested it, right? So I can see us having to go back over one more time, maybe coming back down and then going, right? But yeah, I don't think it's gonna be easy to break 229. I think I think there's a, there's a there's a shot that I can maybe wick that or something though, right? And it's gonna be all about that that 222 line, that 50 moving average on the daily. 
Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, let's come in. Not Neo. Neo. There we go. Let's come in to Neo. This is an interesting chart right here. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm glad I'm breaking these out. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to say really quickly, actually, if you can please subscribe, if you can share this video, it does wonders with the algorithms, all right? There's a lot of good going on. And believe me, I'm going to talk about the good right now. I have to talk about this 50 moving average and how difficult it has been to get over it, all right? So since um yeah since here really oh wow let me just actually keep zooming out oh look at this thing okay i'm gonna show this whole view right here this is an interesting view so since the entirety of the year this is january 2024 through today right we've pretty much been more or less under the red line all right we are definitely over it that's not confirmation and none of these are all right these two are an interesting back to back and then these two are an interesting back to back but there is very very little confirmation in that entire month of may to june i get it that we're over it but there's a lot more dojis than good strong candles and obviously that i'm not even talking about the 100 moving average that just kept rejecting everything right so this 50 moving average has basically been a difficult line all year okay do not underestimate that 50 moving average okay the next thing i'm going to talk about again i'm going to talk about the good shortly i promise you this candle right here okay if you've watched my videos before you know this if this is your first one i'm a break a line lose a guy so blah, blah, blah. i've got my tongue twisted break a line lose a line type of trader if you can get over the line that's good if you lose the line that's bad right the only pattern the only pat like i don't care about head and shoulders like, unless i'm doing like my shower right that's a bad joke that's too old now but like i don't talk about wedges and pendants and 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 cup and hand i don't talk about any of that the only pattern is a candle pattern and it's a doji and when you have a doji on a moving average that's a really important signal right there all right we are going to either violently break this 50 or we're going to violently reject it it really feels like one of the two and i'm only saying it because you basically have a textbook doji like this is what they look like and it's right on the line and literally as i click on it you can see it in the box we close at two dollars and 24 cents the green number on top the average 50 is at two dollars and 24 cents we are exactly on the line on the doji close neo is a must watch tomorrow all right if neo goes up neo is going to make a move to 450 if neo comes down it's going to make a move to four it's it's it I find it very hard for anything in between because look, red, 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 red is, is either going to make us green, 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 or it's going to be more red, red, red on down. All right. So I love the fact that we're over the eight and the 20 and you can see it. it, it it's, it's been taking us a while and we've made this pattern before. We've made this decent uptrend with a few days over the eight and the 20 only to fail it, to do it one more time. Right. So, um, I like the fact that it's reattempting that same pattern really close. It actually is not that easy to do back to back. Obviously, you can see I had this line drawn right here, right? So support has seemingly done the job, right? We are now going to try to break that red line that I just started this section with talking about how difficult it's been all year, right? So that doji is huge look i like the things down here i like our lower indicators here it's not positive but that's a nice divergence that's a nice green over red green over red both are diverging the same diverging is just a fancy word for lines going away from each other the green one's going up and away and that's what we want right that's good volume it's not fantastic but hey good is what needs to start when you can see everything in the other entire view has been horrible right we have four good days of volume four days at or over and literally all of them are over the 50-day line right so this is making me believe we can actually do something good with volume if that can happen tomorrow we might make the move here listen we have attempted to break i haven't talked about it yet but i'm going to right now we've attempted to break this hundred just as many times as we've attempted to break the 50 right one two three 
four, five, really all five of those were the same two line attempts. I can see it trying to just break both and go all the way up here. I think it's a little aggressive to think it, but I'll be honest, I can see it. I can see that this 100 has been as hard as this 50, and we've been battling them both the exact same number of times this year, right? So um, for now, my immediate thought is from 425 to 450. If 450 breaks, there is actually a rather easy path to like five and then 550, all right? That's actually worth an alert. I'm gonna set one. Let me put my line, that's too high. I like that. Six, sorry, $4.66. Give me a couple pennies over that. I like that right there. An alert is not an immediate buy, but yeah, if we can get over the, the 100, I think it's gonna be a very, very easy path up to the 200, all right? Let me know your thoughts. Let me, oh, let me look at the weekly. I haven't done that yet. Sorry, my apologies. Oh, look, this just screams what I just said. If we can get over this right here, this actually is five. This is saying if you can get over five, it's all the way up there, right? So that's, I think, just a little higher than, than we're looking for. But let me zoom in right here. What's this line? 450. Yeah, look, if we can get over this 450, and I just set my alert at 460 something, right? The weekly is actually saying, yep, we can make our way towards that five. This thing's actually even saying 580, right? And obviously I was talking about the lines above it. So I do think the weekly is saying the same thing with these three lines as the daily is saying with, with basically the, ah, no, sorry, with these three lines. Yeah, for sure. Cool. I like that. Nice. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, the last one I want to end it with is Polestar PSNY. This has been a technical dandy right here, right? There's, there's, I don't even know what else to call it, right? But there are so many just my catchphrases jumping out, right? This is riding the eight moving average like a champion. This is breaking the eight and going to the 20, breaking the 20, going to the 50, breaking the 50, going to the 100, breaking the 100, going to the 200, right? This is showing that the 200 is the hardest line to break for a reason, right? Like this is everything I talk about on every single video in a beautiful little uptrend you know what I mean so um, I have to smile as I say all that too all right hey real quick if you can please subscribe if you can share it does wonders with the algorithms all right so the loudest thing to me I started with it I'm gonna say it again this is riding the eight like a champion. It is just bouncing on it and going and bouncing on it and going, you know? That's a very, very scary red candle right there, right? Hopefully, you know that, that the two moving averages, right? It's, it's hard to break them up, it's hard to lose them down. That's actually decent confirmation right there too, you know what I mean? So riding the eight moving average is a beautiful thing. We have golden cross of the 20 on the 50. I mean, this is a pretty thing, all right? We're now at a place where, oh my gosh, just look at this thing, of course. Come on, I'm gonna even keep zooming out. Oh my goodness, let's delete all these lines. Silliness, my apologies. Let's delete all that. Okay, the, the, the easiest, the easiest thing to see, and I, I'm not saying easy to be rude or anything like that. We have literally never been over the, the 200 moving average, all right? Maybe one of those green candles did close over it. So, hey, maybe that literally was, was, was a little cavalier. But since this line was created on the, 200th and, the 201st day of trading, we have basically been under that purple line. That is not an easy line to break. All right, that is a very, very difficult line by itself, let alone for the first time ever, okay? If this breaks the 200 moving average on the daily pole star, if it does, this can make a really, really big move, all right? The thing is, you just, I, I say this often, I live and die by the lines, I really do. And one of them that I've learned is, don't underestimate, especially these three, especially the last one. So um, it's not gonna be an easy break. It's not gonna be an easy break. It makes sense why that rejection was so, so hard today, right? All those other EVs were doing so well. Why did this one come down, right? It's not like our, our, our RSI was super, super crazy. Yeah, it was a little high right there, but you know, it's not like it was high yesterday, right? So that's a, that's a violent drop, it is. And to me, it's because this is, the, this is this is the Great Wall of China level hard right here, right? Like this has never been broken, all right? 
I imagine if I go to the 50, sorry, if I go <laughs> if I go to the weekly, the 50 is going to be the exact same thing and it is, right? Since the 51st week of this stock, we have been under the 200 moving out. Uh, sorry, under the 50. If this breaks, this one actually says the target might be 3. I didn't take any guesses on the daily just yet. Again, this is a dollar something, right? I don't want to talk that high just yet, but um this entire thing is about, I think 150 is the line. That's our line, 153. If this thing can break 152, and I'm going to be setting an alert for sure at 153. 153. An alert is not an immediate buy notification, but if this breaks 153, it might be very, very hard to stop it. Where is that on the weekly? Does that take care of the? Oh, it doesn't. Dang, I got to raise that just a little bit to there 164 164 puts us over the weekly 50 and it's basically 50 percent of that march first week candle i like that it's a little higher than i want it to be first for i'll be honest that's again though the problem is that we have this yeah 164 you know what i think 164 is a good number because again this is it's not a cluster but it's the first break ever i think you really want to show it the respect it deserves and i think 164 is a is a i'll give you some respect line actually so 164 conservative money line i think we set our alert just a little lower if i'm i already forgot the number right i think it was right here i think i'd set my alert for 150 again i think it's a risk reward tolerance. I'm never here saying my lines are prime. I'm never here using the words buy, sell, hold. You know that, right? But um, between 150-ish and 164, that's that's the money line to break this for the first time. And like I said, we saw where that that weekly $3-ish target was, right? So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, oh, I appreciate you so, so much.